up. You want everybody to stand to your feet. Hallelujah. If you can't stand this thing, hallelujah, God is a good God. Yeah. Put your hands together. I have a lust for pastor. Yeah. 
do you? She said, yeah. I said, what is it? She said, spectators are a crowd of people that gather and they look on and form their own opinion. I said, girl, I said, come on, come on. And I'm sharing with you, I don't have a problem with spectators, a crowd of people that's here today. Keep your opinion to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> amen, God. amen. amen. It's not our opinion that's going to bless us. That's right, it's the word of God. Everybody got one. Yes, uh -huh. they do. And it's all right. Yes. We need the Lord to do it for us. Amen. Amen. Do it for us. I mean, you know, not only can he do it, uh -huh. will he do it? Yes. He is will doing do it. it. Yes, he is doing it. Yes, he is. Amen. Somebody say right now. Right now. In the book of Second Chronicle.
told him, boy, I don't wear plaits and I don't wear my pants below, so I expect you to give off my characteristics. You may not be safe, but look like you my grandson. I know that's right. Looking back at it, younger brother, Tavares, who was smiling more. <laughs> and so in Second Chronicle right. 7 and 14 or 7 and 10 I want to start the 10th verse Glad and Mary in heart for the goodness that the Lord has shown unto David and to Solomon and to Israel, his people. Say his people. His people. The Solomon finish the house of the Lord and the king's house. And all that came into Solomon's heart to make in the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. He prosperous effected. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayers and have chosen this place to be to, to myself for an hour of sacrifice. House of sacrifice. If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, say among my people. Among my people. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Amen. Briefly talk about subject God has heard our prayer and he's ready to heal our land. Amen. Amen. Talk to people during the day sometime of the week. Entertain them. Make them feel good. But there's nothing going to be able to really help you except the word. Sister Tudor, I was talking to someone uh, uh, months, years ago to this effect. I was asked about signing a petition with a group to stop them from building a club near the church. And I gave them permission to build it right over here on this land next to this church. And they thought that was real strange, but if they would build it there and the church go or stay out of there, yeah. God would give us a new building. <laughs> close to us because we don't want folks to know we're going there. You buy your liquor, live in crap and go to my garden and buy your liquor, it's still wrong. <laughs> no, talk fast. It's got to be a change to those that call themselves his people. Listen, and criticizing and belittling those that still drink and still partying and still getting down with the music. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now criticizing you that still have habit, tipping and nipping 
and slipping. I'm not criticizing you to the point where God doesn't love you, but I'm trying to tell you that if there's hope for you, the church got to make a change. Thank you, Lord. It's going to take more than a shout and a dance and an emotional feeling to draw people to Christ. Glory be to God. So, Solomon here with the message that Sister Tudor brought on Friday night. She warned us or encouraged us that we could come out of the cage where David or uh, where Elijah had been used by God mightily. Are you going to help me? Yes, sir. He had been used by God mightily. And so they are well called upon the name of the Lord and fire came down. Mm -hmm. You know the story. Laying this garment down and the water departed. But here, what causing him to go in a cage? She also told him that loaded words.
and I'm willing to help them because they are my people. But warn them that those that are mine are known by the way they're humbling themselves. Can I get a witness? Thank you, Lord. I'll know those that are mine and ready for healing by the way they humble themselves. Thank you, Lord. Not only those that humble themselves, I'll know them by those that turn. Can I get a witness? Now, wait a minute. I don't want to go there yet. Thank you, Lord. Some of us is turning. Thank you, Lord. We're turning from our busy bodies. But we're turning too far. Can I get a witness? Did you get that? Yes. We're turning from busy bodies, but we're turning all the way around back to it.
test me the other day. Prove that. Drinking is a sin. Prove that. Being known and gambling is a sin. Well, I strictly can't prove that. But I can strictly prove it's not the way of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. It's not the way of God's people. Say amen. amen. Glory be to God. My God. God permitted it that we would choose. He would rather we choose. He set before us life and death. Life and death. Yes, he did. Good and evil. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. So when you choose evil, don't blame the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you choose the way of the world, don't blame the Lord. But we need the way of holiness. Holiness is not. Hallelujah. All of this and all of that. It is a way of life. Yes, it is. It's just the way we ought to live. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. We ought to love one another. Oh, my God. Solomon cursed the church that God had made happy. That God had made glad. He said, Solomon, tell him to me. He came to Solomon after the servant was over with. After the conference was over with. Thank you, Jesus. Many of us came to this conference expecting and needed no word. Needed prophetic and spoken into our life. And you certainly got it. But God spoke to me the other night. And tell him that ain't enough. That land need healing. Glory be to God. Some of you will be back in the same mess before the sun goes down. Yes. Hallelujah. I don't hear you. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You'll be back in the same old routine. Yes, yes. If God don't hear you. Jesus. When God delivers you, He delivers you to stay. Yes. When God puts yes. sweetness in you, yes. He put it in you to stay. Yes. See, Sister Tudor will be going back to Mobile. All right. After this afternoon. Yes. Sister Harry's already in Atlanta. William will be back in Calyria, but I'll still be here. Woo! They may not know till the next conference how you lived, but I'll know. Can I get a witness? They may not know when you lost your joy, but they'll be back at their home, but I'll be here. And God has told me to tell you, let him hear your lane. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If you let him hear your land, then you can produce good fruit. Glory be to God. Yes, we ain't nothing but dirt. William told us that. That's why he wanted to plant the seed in the dirt. That we can bring more fruit. I'm about to do We're not talking about bananas and apples. We're talking about the fruit of the spirit. And God people are supposed to be full of love. Come on, talk with me. Glory be to God. You can't love one another through this conference. That's right. Then talk about one another next week. Woo! You can't love one another through this conference. And get right back in the loaded words. There's some folks, there's some folks ready to shoot you down right now. There's some folks right here today. Don't even like about you get excited for the Lord. Glory be to God. Everybody ain't happy with what God do. They in a crowd. We got some spectators here. Come in just to see what happens. Come and get some news when it can cat out. Glory be to God. Yes, yes, yes. Come here to see how long we're going to hold soon. Yes. Glory be to God. Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. God bless you, Sister Judy. Come out of that cave. Come out of the cave. It's time to come out of hiding. Yes, yes. It's time to stop trying to live like God's people's on Sunday. Yeah. In a setting like this. Then you go back to hiding after the service. So you don't want people to know that you're one of them tongue talkers. All right. Glory be to You ain't healed. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, when God, when you really been healed, you don't just wait to get the church to speak in tongues. Well, there ain't nothing wrong with that. 
But I usually speak in tongues before I leave home. All right. Because <laughs> see, speaking in tongues edifies you and builds you up. Uh -huh. You got to go through. That's right. Glory That's right. Man. Yes, it does, Pastor. Glory to God. It is, it don't matter trying to impress brothers how tongueless you are. Yeah, that's right, Pastor. Sometimes the people that speak in tongue, they don't even get mad with me because if God uses you in a tongue, you feel good with it right now. The world is saying the same folks that speak in tongue talk about me when they need to check. Say, I'm not being ugly here. We need healing. When God hear you, you don't have to impress nobody. That's right. That's right. You don't get healed, you get impressed through a conference, and you'll be stepping out in ministry, you ain't got no business in you. And you don't want to do it. Amen. Amen. You ain't nobody stepping out in nobody else's ministry. That's right. That's right. Y'all gonna let me preach? Amen. I ain't dealing with Paul and, and Elijah and Daniel. <laughs> I'm gonna deal with us. Woo! God gave me a word for us. I know. Yes. Excuse my English on TV. Us need healing. Nobody. We're waiting on the inside. We can't nobody see but God. Yes. Glory be to God. What's needed? It's a possibility that some of us arguing and was fighting on the way to church. My, my, my. Glory be to God. It's a possibility that somebody cut in front of you mm. and you almost lost it. Glory be to God. Some of us are losing in the parking lot. Just before you park, somebody cut in and, and, and park there, you're losing in the parking lot. Uh -huh. If you're not here. That's right. Glory be to God. Amen. I'm talking to his people. Glory be to God. His people that are called by his name. The home of them say. Glory be to God. You may not see him. But God see a need to heal us. Glory be to God. And you ought to be proud that God have analyzed and figured out your condition and got a medicine for it. God don't have to do our, our, our Texas research. They're still researching for cancer. Because they don't want to do it God's way. God already got healing for cancer. Amen, amen. Glory to God. Yes, he does. Already got a healing for depression. You really don't need to go to a psychiatrist. But if you choose not to get help God's way, that's the best place to go. <laughs> Say amen. God got a healing for some of us through counseling. You really don't have to go to the law on one another. Sometimes you have to. But you shouldn't go there first. Church don't find another way. Folks who come to church, you have to be careful even holding this. That's why we have to preach Jesus here. Folks who come in here and act like they're sanctimonious. Fall off the pew with intent to sue. I'm going to say it in the house. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. We listen to the world way so till it got into the church. That's Lord. Hallelujah. No, sometimes you have to let the law sell things. I think his people are going to try to sell it first through the body of Christ. Say amen. Amen. I think the best way to sell it is somebody done borrowed money from you and in debt with you and instead of taking the small claim coat, taking the small claim embarrassment. 
He's telling him, don't, don't let Deacon McCarrie no money, he won't pay. I think that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's the key, you see. I'm on my turn. We'll fall out with one another. Over a few dollars. Yeah. Brother Joe Blow and Sister Nick Bone won't pay you, don't loan him no more. That's right. Give it to them. Say amen. They come back to you over and over again and say, I need ten dollars. Give it to them. Don't own it. Say amen. If you're not gonna give it to them, just say I ain't gonna do it. This your old say me. You don't need to let people, if you're not here, you're alive by what's going on. That's right. She sure will, Pastor. And then they come up to me and say, uh, Pastor, you got the money? I said, sure. You just let me have ten dollars, I ain't gonna do it. Well, I'm home. I said, well, let's go to the store and I'll meet you. I'm not to lie about what's in my pocket. It's mine. Say amen. I'm healed. My God. Glory be to God. My, 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 my. I got healed a few years ago. I learned the individual uh, some money. I won't call the name. And every time I saw him, I was causing him to lie to me. <laughs> he said, I ain't got your job. I, I won't pay you. Every time he saw me, he came up to me lying. And I released him. I said, brother, you're paying for it. And you owe me nothing else. Yeah. Now, some of y'all missing this. All right. But if you're not healed, Jesus. and I'm closing, when the excitement, when the joy has ceased, you go right back in your old ways. Jesus. Everybody know that you're his people. Yes, yes. God bless you. Every, every his, by everyone standing, every other service, we thank you for these wonderful, godless, sanctified women and men that have spoken their heart out to your people. And God, we thank you for the close of this service that near the people. That we won't get caught up in emotion. We won't get caught up in that gladness and the excitement. So we won't rec recognize a need for you to heal us. Lord, we speak healing upon your people. We speak deliverance in Jesus' name. May someone be saved today. Healed and set free in Jesus' name. Thank God and amen. Give the Lord a God bless you. Amen. Amen. Give the honor to God. And I will honor his presence. I honor the ministers and to Pastor Morgan, and First Lady Morgan, and to Evangelist Reverend Janice Tootle and her companion. And to all these ministers and all my brothers and sisters in Christ. It's just a blessing to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. I wanted to just give certificate started off doing conferences and Reverend Tudor started me doing this and I, I've adop adopted this and just something just that they can have to remember and giving certificates of appreciation and first of all I want to give this and I just want to say to all of you I love each and every one of you and thank you for allowing just to bless I have this conference here. Amen. 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 Elder Morgan in the back. I want to give the first certificate of appreciation for our first lady, Annie Pearl Moore. Amen. Amen. The next presentation is to present it to her. I love her dearly, and I want her to know this. And um, I bless her in Jesus' name. Present it to Reverend Janice Tudor, Crisis in Your Crisis Ministers. Amen. 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 This next person I asked to, to do intercessory prayer, and she was out here diligently 30 minutes before every program. And I'm telling y'all, she intercessed none other than Evangelist Jacqueline Perkins. God bless her.
Man, I asked this next person to, to be the MC and he did it, did it diligently in his mind and I bless you for it. That's none other than Minister Dale Lewis. I bless you. Yeah. Amen. I, I, uh, this next person, I also asked her to participate in the program and she did it diligently. I bless her, Sister Kathy Stoppa. Amen. Amen. Where's Evangelist Smith at? Did he dip out? He's back there? Yeah. Okay, okay. Amen. And we, we bless him. Give him a God bless for him. Evangelist Smith. Amen. Amen. The minister of music here, Minister Anthony Ward. God bless him. Amen. Amen. I told Pastor when I came in, I, I said, he looks so different. His next brother is Brother Terrell Morgan. Give him a God bless. Brother Travis Morgan is he here. What's Travis at? Travis is here. Come on, Travis. Yeah. Amen. Hey, God bless him. Yes, yes, she did. 
Okay, he's here now, back in the house. The man is Will Smith. I want to recognize, and I apologize, I, haven't, I didn't get able to get many certificates, but I'll have more this afternoon. I want to recognize, I want her to stand, Sister Diane Jackson. Just stand, Diane. Amen. Come on, give her a God bless. God bless yeah. her. Thank you for your encouragement. Diane Creasy, I'm sorry. Hey, put it on the paper. Excuse me, Diane Creasy, let me get it right. That baby's wife, stand up, baby. God bless you, they write me no harm. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Let me set this up again. Dear Prattville, Alabama, and I'm, and I'm happy about having met him. And he's been a blessing to me. When I first came here, I believe, just let me say this, when I first started coming here, which was January of 2000, and I've been here that long, and I remember coming here, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and I said, I wanted to join on the watch here, and I didn't know how to stand and say, I wanted to be a part of you all. And by the close of benediction, I was going to say, I got, I want to join the church on the watch care. And all I remember is the elders saying, Mr. Wells, you ain't got to preach nowhere. You ain't got to be nowhere. I want you here. And ever since then, I've been here. <laughs> Amen. But I bless none other than the great elder, soon to be bishop one day, at the appointed time. Amen. Elder Algie Morgan.
relationship with Pastor Epstein and Wilbur. Amen. It's been dedicated formally a few weeks ago. He's an all-white pastor with an all-white church, but they are Father, Son, Holy Ghost number two.